Um, let's go back to the beginning with you. What was your weight like growing up? I was I was quite a heavy girl growing up. Um, obviously, my ass I had asthma and I couldn't right. really do a lot of activities. Yeah. So the weight piled on. Yeah. So you struggled with. You, you, I think you said before that you've not been very active. Not so very you active. Do a lot I used to hate sport. Yeah. But you were you weren't overweight in, in your teens, were you? No. Isn't that right? No. And when did when did you start to put on the weight? Um, after I had my daughter. Right. The weight started to pile on. Yeah. Not being able to eat at regular times, obviously having to cry a baby. Well, thousands of women can probably relate to that, and yeah. it is certainly a time when weight maybe doesn't become a priority. But so it continued to be a problem for you. Your daughter was born about seven years ago. Daisy eight May. Eight years ago. Eight on years Tuesday, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she was eight on Tuesday. Oh, oh, eight this Tuesday. Tuesday. Birthday, this this May. coming Tuesday. Oh, she's oh, next happy week. birthday yeah. next so week. She'll be eight then. Yes. And it wasn't yeah. just it wasn't just Daisy May as well that your work. Schedule as well because you were you were a care assistant yes, at the I time, wasn't shifts, you? Yeah, like nights, days, evenings, so I couldn't really fit in a normal like routine or food. So yeah, eat, so your shift pattern yeah. affected you a lot. But you you were you were with someone. You were yes. with your your ex husband Greg. Yes. Uh, we'll get to him in a moment. But at your heaviest, you were seventeen stone and six pounds. Yes. You're size twenty two. How, how did you feel when you were at that weight? I hated myself. I used to look and think, oh god, I look awful. How could anyone be attracted to me? I would just be like negative about myself. But your husband was attracted to you, yes. wasn't he? You know, he was with yeah. you and he loved you for you. Why yeah. did you feel so down? Because I thought he could do better than me at that time because obviously there's other people who were more attractive than me. But you're so beautiful, Hannah, and it's, it's such a sad state of affairs that you felt like that about your own self when you're getting married yeah. to someone who clearly loved you. Yeah. What was your typical diet then? What was, what was the issue for you? My yeah, downfall was biscuits and crisps. I could eat a packet of digestives to myself. I think a lot of people can, to be <laughs> fair, Hannah. A lot of people can do a packet of digestives, yeah. but it did go that bit too far. Yes. And, and you found yourself quite, well, quite binging on these yes. things. I read in the, in the brief as well that you, for a dessert, you'd eat a whole trifle. Or maybe two. Two yeah, trifles. What yeah. is it about trifles? They're my favourite. It's <laughs> strawberry. But I think there's a lot more exciting, sort of sugary desserts that you can binge on. And I used to eat like, um, Syrup sponges, the whole big tins of those, sponge. but now I can't, they're too sickly. For oh, the me. tinned ones, yeah. yeah, they're really sweet, aren't they? Yeah. This is turning into something else. This is like <laughs> what I like at home. I know, but by Dan Clark. <laughs> but I know yeah. what you mean about the digestives, because if yeah. I open a box of chocolates or a few bars of chocolates, I can't just eat one or two pieces. I'll put it back in the cupboard and then I'm up and down, aren't mm. I? Constantly like a yo yo until the whole box is gone. Yeah, it's so better it's that way, get rid of them all. Yeah. <laughs> but then you change. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go back to um, May 2009. Yeah. So, you're a few months away from getting married to the love yes. of your life, Greg. Um, you decide to join a slimming club yes. because you think, right, enough is enough. And now a lot of, a lot of brides-to-be decide yeah. to do that. They want to fit into the dress or they want to be a bit slimmer for their wedding day. But you lost quite a lot of weight quite soon on, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Three stone. You lost three stone. stone. before the September. So how, how, how long did it take you to lose the three stone? From May, it's about four months, wasn't yeah, it? Four, four months. months. So you lost four stone, three stone, three stone four in four months. months. Yeah. Amazing. How did you do it? Exercise, um, going to the gym, doing the Wii, Pilates, anything like that. And you obviously got married, you had a lovely yes. wedding, you had a lovely time, but you started to see some issues surrounding how Greg was treating you. You you'd started losing the weight. I mean, at your lowest, you were seven stone, seven pounds. Yeah. And I mean, that is a hell of a weight loss yeah. from 17 stone. Um, and you started to see Greg not like the fact that you'd lost this weight. Normally, we, we have people on this show, and it's normally the other way around, when people mm. say you've put on a bit too much weight. But he didn't like the weight loss. How, how, how much of a strain did it have on your relationship? A lot of strain. He used to sabotage my diets, um, buy me takeaways and stuff like that. So did you cut takeaways out completely then, or did you not have I a had, treat at the weekend? I had a treat on a Wednesday. That was my treat day. Right. But then he'd try and have um, more treats at the weekends and okay. things like that. Why do you think he was? You felt like he was sabotaging. I think he liked me bigger than right. me being smaller. And you just weren't happy being I just, bigger. I just and weren't you happy being bigger. He, he started getting a little bit funny with you going out. You'd, you'd go out and buy new clothes, you know, you're obviously a, a size 8 at the time, you know, you'd buy new clothes. Mm -hmm. And he'd make you feel a little bit not good about yeah. being that size and he didn't like you going out with the girls. Why do you think that it had such a psychological I, effect on him? I think he thought I was going to go elsewhere and because mm. I was always going out and got my confidence back whereas I used to have low confidence when I was bigger. And this really did take its toll because it unfortunately a couple of years ago in 2013 you, um, you ended the marriage um, from Rouse and, and you believe that this is to do with your weight loss? Yes, definitely. No regrets? No regrets. But why, why do you think that um, he was jealous about you maybe meeting somebody else? Did, was it in your mind that you were out, you know, I'm thinner now, I can find someone better? 
I used to get a lot more of attention, so I think that's what he hated, because when I was bigger, I didn't really get yeah. attention. But now, obviously, when I lost that, all that weight, I used to get blokes mess talking to me, and he didn't really like it. And how did that make you feel, then, as a, as a person who used to be overweight, unhappy with how she looked, to get that attention from men that you never used to get? How did you feel with I that? I felt fantastic. Yeah. And, and what, are you on good terms with your ex yes. now? And, yeah. and you're, you're in a happy relationship now? Yes. Um, and that's all going well for you. Um, Greg did actually say, he doesn't want to comment on this, but the weight was a contributing factor to the breakdown. But one thing he did say, he said that your personality changed. Do you feel like that your personality changed? I think so, yeah. I'm more outgoing and more bubbly and who I used to be before I met him. So, mm. yeah, I was back to normal. So, something that I actually want to touch on is that you did, as, as we touched upon, you went down to seven stone seven, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, and you realise, actually, I've lost too much weight. So what made you get to that point that you thought, actually, I need to put weight on Everyone here? was saying to me that I looked really gaunt and not very nice looking, and I didn't believe them until I looked at a picture, and I actually did, I looked really awful, and it made me think, do you know what? I'm all, I don't feel happy anymore being that skinny, because yeah. everyone's commenting saying I look really... Ill, so obviously I put on a bit more weight now and I feel more so happier. What, you look amazing, Hannah. I mean, you, you look, you look, you look, you look like you're really happy with your weight. Are, are you happy? Do you think you'll ever be happy with your weight? Because you've had such a fluctuating time with, you know, a drop of ten stone. That's that's a big deal yeah. for anyone. Mm. But do you think you'll ever be happy? I don't know. I, I, like a couple of months ago, I was like, oh no, I need to go back to the gym. I, I want to lose more weight. But then I thought to myself, I don't want to go back in that spiral where I was addicted to losing mm. the mm. weight. So you feel like you went too far. I went with too it. far. And it was an addiction for you in yes. the end. But yeah. at the moment, you are happy. I'm very well, happy. Well, that's all that matters, and we think you look lovely. Thank you. You don't need to change anything, Hannah. Listen, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you.